Welcome to Channel It Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Fried, and today we have Mono Black. What did we gain? We gained a lot of stuff, plus a lot of power. Is it still as good as what it was before rotation? Hmm, debatable, but it's got a lot of interactions that I like. Let's hop into this deck list. As always, stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. All right, guys, so here's the Mono Black deck list. Look, we've got uh, our... Removal package here with a little bit of type board state control and all that. We've got our creatures. These are our quick drops. And of course, the uh, Tenacious Underdog playing a huge part in this deck list. But we also have Hand Disruption and Concealing Curtains. We're trying out the Evolve Sleeper. This dude likes to grow bigger and put plus one counters. And then, of course, draw you some cards and uh, lose you some life if you get to that point. However, right now, I don't know if I'm actually sold on this one, but we're going to keep him in right now, right? But uh, I got to tell you, the honest truth in the one drop creature slot right now, I'm preferring Concealing Curtains, especially with that just pay three. You transform it, you get to look at your opponent's hands. If they do have removal, then it usually forces them into it. And then, of course, you've got this 3-4 reveal, uh, Revealing Eye with Menace, which is actually pretty good. We also have the uh, Shieldred and then Henrika Domnathy. Uh, Graveyard Trespasser and Fell Stinger. So we got a little bit of card draw and Death Touch on the board. Some more 3-3 um, three, three Graveyard Disruption, some life gain possibilities. And then, of course, it's got its ward cost of discard a card. So you're just disrupting your opponent's hand. And then Henrika domnathy has got options. We can uh, make it where each player sacrifices a creature. Each of us draws a card and loses a life. Or we can transform into a 3-4 Flyer with Death Touch and Life Link. And then, of course, you could pay the 3 cost on it. And each creature you control with flying death touch and or lifelink gets plus one plus zero till the end of turn and then of course she altered the apocalypse which seems to be the impossible card for me i still have yet to land this since dominary united came out this is a two uh and two black death touch four five she altered the phyrexian praetor man we've missed her we love her she looks gorgeous in this artwork and then of course she has the whenever you draw a card you gain two life and whenever your opponent draws a card they lose two life what's not to love about her except for the fact that I never get her on the board. We've got Liliana the Veil. Like I told the stream, and I've told you guys before in the Rakdos mid-range deck, if you hadn't played with her when she first came out, be ready for her because she's here, she's here to stay, and she's an absolute menace on the board. You're basically just using the top two. Very rarely are you using the minus six ability on her unless you get there, but you're using the each player discards a card with the plus one. And then, of course, the negative two, target player sacrifices a creature. And there's some interactions going on with this, guys, because our removal package, we've also got the Meat Hook Massacre going on, so we can ping a an opponent if a creature leaves the yard and of course the discard uh card for us target wise if we can line it up is the tenacious underdog because then we could start the blitz cost and then of course get in that three damage draw a card and then do a fourth damage coming out so liliana has got a specific target in this package which is tenacious underdog and then of course if we can get me hook on the board that's just all three lined up and super nice and if we don't have all three lined up they're still great all on their own. We've got Soren the Mirthless in here. I don't know that I love him in here yet, but uh, the negative two for the two, three vampire with lifelink and flying is always great. And then the plus one, you can look at the top card of your library. You may reveal the card and then you can put it in your hand. And if you do, you lose life equal to the uh, mana value of the card. So if it's a land, it costs you nothing. And then of course, just the mana values. And then the negative seven, Soren deals 13 damage to any target and you gain 13 life. Guys, we have two Takanumas, a Band of Mire in here just to help us return a Planeswalker or a creature if we need to. We're also using Soul Transfer for that purpose as well, but it's also helping us control what our opponent's playing on the board as well as Invoke Despair, Hero's Downfall, and then, of course, Cut Down. So, guys, it's a pretty solid package. I love it. I'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay. We played it on stream, so we got a couple wins. We got a loss, but it was a lot of fun, and I cannot thank the Country Club enough for their support. Uh, they were here yesterday when when we didn't have early access and they hung out with us and they're just a hundred percent man they're a hundred percent real and i love them to death and cannot thank them enough but i'm gonna let you guys get to the gameplay we'll follow up with the outro i'll tell you some things that i would probably change or give you some options to take out of this if you did want to change it but uh hopefully we see you then and if not until then stay safe be happy and healthy peace enjoy the gameplay, guys so that's a lot of land Don't don't ever say that again. Yeah, I don't know if that was right or not. Hopefully it wasn't something bad. Uh, one more looking. We'll keep. 
I don't know that I like this flash flash that's going on up here, man. All right. <laughs> Let me kick back and look like I'm big in the chair here. We're recording, guys. Did you see the size of the chicken? Alan, let me know if you want in, man. Uh, we definitely got room and time. Concealing curtains as soon as I try to flip it. Oh. Oh, we're playing things. Okay. Um. Spencer, what's going on, Spencer? I haven't seen you around in a while, man. I hope everything's going great, Spencer. What's the right call here? Just British, so it's midnight. No problem, Spencer. No problem, man. Hopefully, you're having a blast with this set. This many. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I really am, man. I'm losing my mind at how good this stuff is. see playing with the pain lands they're not that bad no stokes the pain lands aren't that bad they prepare for war um those who get in my way tend to regret it your friends have to leave. Even in defeat. Nikki, everything's going great. How are you? Yeah, this set's just man, just though just the entire rotation all together has just been a blast, guys. It's just been a blast. I mean, it's so refreshing. Sounds like I'm selling a sports drink. It's been so refreshing. Okay. Yeah, we got it. I'm tired of your secrets. GG's, Thea. GG's. Thank you. Oh, man. Well, look, there is an update for OBS, but I didn't update it because I'm, I'm worried that when I do, 
I'll be uh, well into the weekend trying to fix it. And right now, I just want to record as much stuff as possible. So what I'll probably do is wait till, I don't know, maybe Saturday night or Sunday morning and uh, do the update then. Ooh, is T playing a, a, a mono blacklist too? I'm gonna take all your stuff, T. That's fine, bro. Punching yourself in the face. It's fine, man. It's fine, just take my stuff. Ugh. come with it oh you got another infernal grasp damn oh you don't okay whatever Lots nice of foolish after all oh my god man oh my god man <laughs> Billy how's it going brother Alan, the salt, uh, the salt, um, is, is, uh, <laughs> I think that's more between me and Thea because, <laughs> because neither one of us like to lose. We're salty as hell when we do. So yeah. Vamp, what's going on, man? Billy Vamp, guys, I'll put you in line. Let me know if you don't want to play. Alan, did you want to play or are you, uh, no are you going to bed? We'd Are you just hanging out till you fall asleep? You're down to play? Right on. So, Billy and Vamp, what do you guys think of the new set, man? How sick is it? Super sick. Super sick. Well, let's clean up that board. Uh, yeah, let's give a target. Vamp been sleeping. Oh, you haven't been on yet? Vamp, start downloading it. It's, uh, it's 1.77 gigabytes. That's fine. I meant to do that. I meant to do that because I'm recording it and I meant to do that. I remember that they were legendary lands. I did remember it. Well, that's me. What can we do here? Man, I really wanted to get sleeper going.
God, if he draws another one, we're dead. So... If we draw a land, it pays off. If we don't draw a land, it doesn't pay off. <laughs> so let's go here. Come here, dude. Yeah, Billy. That is part of it, man. Arena don't give them out for free. I wish they did. I wish they did. These things are bad, man. These things are bad. How perfect is that? Uh, let's go... Hmm. Did he get it? If he got it, he got it. Man, it fell stinger. Right on. Land off the top. Land off the top. Come on, land. Can we at least do a draw? Why, just because I got one? Oh, because I got to pay two life for it. I got you. I thought the two life was at the end. I wasn't even thinking that it was part of the pay right there. Nice. Yeah, flip it. Was not even paying attention. Okay, so it's got menace. There's nothing I can do. Sad. Sad. Good game, T. Good game. Good game. <laughs> T. Man, I'm recording, T. Come on, man. The game being close like that's fine, but you winning? Come on, dude. I'm trying to show off. <laughs> GG's. So yeah, I kept. I'm not a real big fan of this hand, but we're going to keep it and see how it rolls out. Ryan, what's going on, buddy? Who, King Darian Thermal? Yeah, man, look. I got a video coming out on Celestia Token Combos. King Darian was crazy, crazy good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the defilers there too, talking about like, what is it, like a five drop for Rexian with Vigilance, is that what it is? I think that's what it is. It's a rare and you have three rares at a moment. Um, okay, so you can do two King, you could do three King Darians, worth it, if you want to, if you want to run a Celestia token package. Um, the Queen, all in all, all in all, Queen all in all, is uncommon, and you can run three of those too. You may have to wait to get the Defiler, but if you got Shadows Warden, then you could probably do that. Or, did I say Shadows Warden? Soul Warden? 
Soul Warden's probably a good one too. Or do Adeline. Do Adeline. Adeline's a good one for that tokens package too. And when my video does drop, if you watch to the outro deck list, you'll see where I switch it up and I put Adeline in there too. What works with him? Everything Celestia and Chance. Um, so like wedding announcement, uh, Adeline, join the dance. Um, Katilda, Brittle Cathar, King Darian works by King Darian's own self. Um, just trying to think of what else there was in that package, man. I don't know. Give me a second, uh, Vamp, and uh, after this game, I'll bring it up. So is doing Rakdos mid range or it's a pretty good one. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on. Hopefully not Obnixilis since that's what he said he was gravitating towards. Infernal Grasp. Yum, what's going on? Doing good, doing good. How are you doing? We're doing great. Oh, Sleeper, you haven't tried King Darien? Oh, try King Darien Thermal. Definitely try try King Darien and use that plus up ability. And don't forget about Katilda's plus up ability. When you, when the video drops, you guys will see. I'll talk all about it. I, I got so hyper focused and freaked out about King Darien that I completely forgot Katilda was on the board and had a plus up ability as well. Uh, I just I just I, my mind went to mush how well it worked. Uh, but what was really cool though was the fact that we were playing against Orzov clerics and Orzov clerics was going nuts. You're doing good, Yon? Good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, man. We're all happy right now. Rotation happened. So we're all doing great. Yeah, Liliana. What rares for black? What do you mean, Vamp? What are you looking for? New and go. New, you talk about new rares in black. Alan, March of Richard Sorrows is really stepping up. There is removal. Yeah. March is good. March is good. March has always been good. I don't know why I saw his hand and then I just played like that. I have zero clue. Hmm. I'm not saying this is the smartest decision. I'm trying to see how I like fell stinger in here in different different ways. So trying to pull a land. We got the land. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. I 
Zabor, welcome to the country club. How's it going? Can you play with cards that aren't in your career? Wait, can you play with cards that aren't in your collection in a direct challenge? Uh, Zabor, I don't think so. I think they've still got to be in your collection. I think they've still got to be in your collection. Nikki, Orzov Clerics is nuts. It went crazy. It went ballistic. I was not expecting it. It, it was a little. It was a little more than I expected. Um, sure. Seems legit. Cleric's pump. Um, yeah, it was doing all right. Uh, they're running. They're running Oblivion, Ride of Oblivion. They're running um, the what is it? The cats card. The uh, feed me or feed me again or whatever that crap was. I know what's gonna happen. We're just forcing an issue here. I could have done the second one. Why? Because I'm an idiot sometimes, playing too fast. And talking. Billy, I don't trust you. So discard? I got you, man. I got you. I'll play Rakdos discard against you. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are we going to need this, though? the issue yep hopefully it's not meat hook man if it's meat hook well then we're gonna keep that Oh, right on, Billy. No, I didn't know, man. I didn't know how many cards you lost out of it. Uh, well, okay, you're talking about the one that you had submitted? That I do know a little. Hmm. 
Okay. Probably should have played that a little bit differently, but we're set up. Didn't like the rotation proof deck much. No worries, man. No worries. If you got another deck list, let me know. You can definitely bring it. Or you can send it. I mean, if you got another deck list than the one that you sent me. I still haven't played that new one yet. I need to. But I also was like, man, maybe he would like to... Uh, We do something after we get the new one or the new set. Carl. Good game, buddy. Land flooded. I hear you, man. It happens. It does happen, but GG's, brother. I appreciate it, man. Alright, so there you guys go. There was the gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. What would I change up about this? Well, right now, not a whole lot. Like I said, if I was going to change up anything, it would probably be the Evolved Sleeper. That would probably be my rotational slot in here. I'm not completely sold on this, but... I haven't played it a whole lot yet either. Uh, Shieldred, I really do want to take up to at least three because I would like to land her sometime this century. That would be phenomenal. Um, we did have another Henrika Domnathy in here, and I believe we had four Evolved Sleepers, but we went to two Fell Stingers. You saw the gameplay where we had against Stokes and he played the Fell Stinger. I'm not sold on it yet, but it's got interactions that I like a lot. And, uh, of course, we were talking in stream afterwards in chat, and he was saying, man, I could have sacked it when it came in, so I missed Lethal on that, but uh, he still won. But, uh, yeah, Fell Stinger's got a lot of options. Just because you're putting it in and you're exploiting the Fell Stinger to itself doesn't mean you have to draw the cards. You can actually push the damage to your opponent. So there are options with it. I like it. I'm going to keep trying it. But, yeah, guys, I think I would drop one Evolve Sleeper for right now and go with the third Shield just because I want to see her actually get played. Played. Um, you may want to drop one Tenacious Underdog to bring Evolved Sleeper back up, but I'm not because I want the Evolved Sleeper, the Meat Hook Massacre, and the Liliana the Bell. So what I would probably do is I'd probably drop both Evolved Sleepers. <laughs> I would put Meat Hook Massacre up so I got a better chance of hitting this combo. And I would probably say... Since we don't really know what's going on with the game state yet, and there's a whole lot of creatures being played on the board, guys, uh, I would probably go with another soul transfer, just so you got the option of a creature or a planeswalker. I know it's at sorcery speed. You could do it with instant speed with Hero's Downfall, but I also like the option of returning something back from our graveyard if we need to, not just re uh, reliant on Takanuma's Abandoned Mire. And, uh, of course, we don't have blood on the snow anymore, so we can't rely on that either. But I think going forward, that's where I would put this list. And that's my take on it. So thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you guys are having a blast with uh, Dominary United. I know we are. And uh, if you want, come hang out with us on stream. And until next time, guys, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Peace. Much love. You guys have a great weekend.